Hello everyone and welcome to this video, how to configure email notifications in NNMI incidents. Network node manager monitors network devices for health. For example, if a node or interface go down, an NMI generates incidents node down or interface down. When this happens, network administrators would like to receive notifications, for example, emails. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how email notifications can be configured in an NMI for incidents or traps. An NMI does not provide built-in email configuration. Instead, in each NMI incident, a user can configure an automatic action to send email, SMS, or open a trouble ticket. In automatic actions, a user configures uh, a custom script or a third-party tool to execute and implement a desired alert, for example, to send email. In case of Linux, the script or tool must have executable permissions. It is recommended to test execution of an automatic action command uh, in a console first. An NMI provides various parameters which can be passed to an automatic action along with custom incident attributes. This is documented in the links below. An automatic action can be configured for all discovered by an NMI nodes or only for a specific node group or interface group. Additionally, a payload filter can be used to further limit source nodes and interfaces for which the action should be performed. More information is in the link below. An automatic action can be configured for the following incident lifecycle states. Registered, in progress, completed, closed. The first and the last ones are commonly used. In this demonstration, we will use an NMI on Linux and mail command to send emails. On Windows, there are many command line utilities available like Cmail and SMTP, even PowerShell can be used. Uh, to set up mail on Linux, we can use simple commands. First install postfix with DNF if it was not installed, then enable postfix, then use postconf to assign IP address of SMTP server to relay host and restart, restart postfix. We will use interface disabled incident and the following command in the automatic action. That should be one line. Uh, the string in echo command will go to the content of email. The string defined by minus s parameter is the subject and the last parameter is the destination email address. For the demonstration, I already have opened an NMI user interface. We will use the router Denver, which was discovered by an NMI. Uh, there is interface Ethernet 0 slash 0, which is up with normal green status at this time. We will change the administrative state of the interface to down. During fault polling, an NMI will notice the state change and generate interface disabled incident. For testing purpose uh, only, I changed the fault polling interval for Denver from default 5 minutes to 15 seconds. We will configure an automatic action for interface disabled incident to send email. Let's go to configuration, incidents. Management event configuration. There are 181 incident configurations. To find interface disabled incident, we can apply the filter to the column name. Let's open interface disabled incident configuration. We can configure global automatic action in the actions tab, but it's better to do this uh, in node settings tab to configure automatic action only for some specific node group. Let's click asterisk 
for the new action. For node group, we can choose routers because our test node Denver belongs to the routers node group. Uh, Denver also belongs to another node group, switches. For ordering, we can type 10. Ordering determines the priority order for those nodes that appear in multiple node groups like our test node Denver. Uh, the lower the number, the higher the priority. For example, one is the highest priority. If a node is in multiple node groups and more than one of those node groups have been specified in incident configuration, only the incident configuration with the highest priority will be applied to the node. In the Actions tab, we select Enabled. To create a new action, we click asterisk. For life st cycle state, we choose registered. Uh, for common type, we choose script or executable. And for the actual command, we will use the same command introduced in the slides. So it would be echo for the content of email and uh, the mail command and the last parameter would be the destination email address. If we would like to apply this action only to specific nodes from a node group routers, we can use a payload filter. For example, uh, for attribute, we can choose source name for operator like and for the value uh, then which means that the action will be applied for all nodes in the router's node group uh, with the names starts starting then. Let's click insert. And at the bottom, we can see the filter string. Then we uh, click save and close. Uh, one more time, save and close in node settings. And also save and close in management event configuration. I already logged into the router Denver. Let's change the administrative status of the interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 to down. Now the interface is done. We are back to an NMI UI. It seems an NMI already performed the status poll of interfaces on the router Denver. Let's check the status of interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. We can see the status is disabled. Administrative state is down. This is what we expected. We, we also can see that the neighboring node Dallas is blue, which means the status of this node is unknown. This is because the root cause of the problem is the down interface on the router Denver. We can check also incidents. Go to incidents br browsing, uh, click open key incidents, and we can see that interface disabled was generated by an NMI. We can open this and we can see that the life cycle of this incident is registered. It means that our configured automatic action should be executed. To verify if the action was executed, we go to Actions, Incident Configuration Report, and then Action Results. We can see node Denver uh, matched node group routers. So the action will be performed for routers and for the incident interface disabled and life cycle state registered.
you can see also the actual command which will be, will be executed but we do not uh, we cannot see uh, details about the, the the execution for example if it was successful or not we can check the details of the action execution go to tools incident action logs and we can see the command which was executed or interface disabled we can see exit code is zero which is good standard output and stand standard error are empty this is expected for this particular command and execution status finished execution um, and also we can see the uh, the runtime for this particular action. It means that the action was successfully executed. Now we need to check email. It has been already received with the subject disabled interface test uh, with the content and the interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 on the node Denver was disabled by the administrator. And this concludes the video. We uh, successfully configured the automatic action, confirmed it was executed to send email, and the email was received. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day. Thank you.